Hello everyone and welcome to the Halo Infinite Waiting Room. It's yet another Halo video from your favorite Halo YouTuber. Just gotta keep saying it until someone believes it. So one thing I'm curious about is how you guys are handling this absurd wait for a new Halo game. Because I'm honestly going through it. I'm so tired of waiting for a new Halo Infinite release date. When does this game come out? Tell me 343. When does Halo Infinite come out? Give me a release date! I know that after Halo Infinite was delayed, we'd be back in the dark where we don't really get any information about Halo Infinite's development or how things are going internally at 343. But for the love of Cortana, throw me a boner here 343. I'm so bored of Halo. I've been playing Halo 3 for 13 years. I grinded to max rank in Halo 5. And I have no light at the end of the tunnel in the form of a sweet, sweet Halo Infinite release date. I have no problems hopping into one of these old Halo games for a couple hours or a night, but nothing is going to motivate me to grind these games for 5 hours a day. I'm hashtag over it. I haven't been playing Halo, and I've barely even been gaming. I've been just doing IRL stuff, which is super not good for you. I mean, it's dangerous outside. The sun will burn your skin. The virus will infect you. And murder hornets are plotting your demise. I haven't been gaming, and I haven't even really thought about making videos, because there's really just nothing to talk about. It was like this before the Halo Infinite campaign reveal, and I don't think it's going to change until we get a Halo Infinite release date or until 343 decides to start the marketing campaign back up. I just don't really see the value in making a video about something as small as buying monster energy drinks to redeem double XP and weapon skins in Halo Infinite, or 343 bringing back ex bungee story writer Jason Staten to help with the narrative. Well, at least the monster news isn't worth a video. It's not big news, and so many other people that are much more relevant than me are already making videos of it. Am I really going to convey that information in a more interesting way? Monster energy. Monster energy. Taurine. Carnitine. Creatine. More eens than your body has room for. You can redeem codes for weapon skins. You'll have double XP all the time. Double XP, double energy, double energy. So much energy. At least Joseph Staten coming back is actually huge news and is very encouraging. But I don't know how to look at it. On one hand, I'd like to believe that Halo Infinite release date is coming soon. In the beginning of 2021. And in that case, there isn't much time for Joseph Staten to have any sort of significant impact on the Halo Infinite story or the game in general. In order for him to have a significant impact, that would mean that Halo Infinite isn't going to release until the latter half of 2021. And the thought of Halo Infinite releasing in holiday 2021, more than a full year from now, makes me want to throw up. I just want to live in this alternate universe where Xbox accidentally has the release date leaked, tweets out the release date to confirm, and then has 343 quote tweet it like, uh, yeah, us too. Nothing would encapsulate the secrecy of this console generation like all of this hype and anticipation about the release date of Halo Infinite, just for it to get tweeted out in the middle of the day when no one's paying attention. It would have been really anticlimactic, but it at least would be so hype knowing that we'd be playing Halo Infinite in almost exactly two months from right now. We'd probably be getting some Halo Infinite multiplayer gameplay right now, probably via some big multiplayer reveal stream, and life would be good as I plan to ruin my entire life to play a game franchise that most of the world has forgotten about. What a beautiful world to live in. Unfortunately, we live in the polar opposite world of reality, where we sit in a cold, dark world with no Halo news or leaks seemingly on the horizon, buried under uncertainty about Halo Infinite. 
wondering where we went wrong in life. Just searching for and speculating about a sweet, sweet Halo Infinite release date. Things may feel grim, but I promise you, by the power of Cortana, our day will come. And that is the end of this video. I realize that this video is pretty much about nothing, and I just go on and on about Halo Infinite Waiting Room. But I haven't uploaded in a while, so I figured, eh, <laughs> why not? I've been getting really bored with Halo lately. While I'm just waiting here for Halo Infinite news, a release date, and it kind of just flooded over into gaming in general for me. So I guess this was just an outlet for me to feel like I'm still part of the Halo community, and a chance for me to put out a video for all of you. All seven of you that actually look forward to new content for me, and don't see a new upload as a reminder to unsubscribe. So yeah, I've just been doing other things while we suffer through this Halo drought. Dabbing in other games when I do play video games, maybe spend a random night on Halo still, but overall I've been enjoying other hobbies. How have you guys been coping with this current Halo drought? Let's talk about it down in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in our next video. Later.